you can have your dead pet turned into a diamond ring. Oh, yes, that's true. OK, uh, we're into the last part of this morning's show uh, with Meet the Spartan star, Sean McGuire. We've got Dr David Bull here as well. And we've got a shaky, nervous Yasmin Ali by Brown, who's treading the boards at the Greenwich Theatre in London tonight. Why she's nervous is only her own story. Uh, oh, no. I have to remember a whole script and I'm very old. <laughs> <laughs> We're asking uh, in this final part what you would do with your dead pet. 027-173-5555 is the number for your calls. Why are we doing this? Because yesterday we heard how a couple of dog lovers, Beth and Brian Willis from Newcastle, were so keen to keep the memory of their two dogs alive. <laughs> they use... You're right, Yasmin. They used the fur from their two hounds, their two deceased hounds, and knitted a couple of sweaters. And now they'll be with their dead pets every time they dress. A one in three pet owners say they never get over the loss of their furry friend. I can understand that. Maybe that explains why companies that, that offer to stuff or freeze your pets are doing so well. You can even have your pet's cremated remains turned into a diamond for something like 15 grand. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, this useful little book, I Never Go Without It, 101 Uses of a Dead Cat, I find it inspires me, offers plenty more suggestions, everything from using a cat as a tennis racket to sticking a pussy in your bra and using it as a natural bust enhancer. <laughs> uh, any other ideas? Now, David, I'm told, I am told you are the expert. Oh, you oh, have a great story. No, right? I'm not an expert, but um, I As had... a doctor. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what you're, what you're alleging to now. But um, I had uh, cats. I'm, I'm not a huge pet lover. I like cats because they're very independent and they're, they're ruthless. Um, but I had some... the buddy Torian. Says the buddy Torian. <laughs> 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 um, no, but I like them because they, you know where you are with a cat. Anyway, um, uh, I had some terrapins and I was very, very pleased with my little terrapins. And I went home uh, and I was at university and I went back and um, I went back and my terrapins were no longer there and my, they died and my mother flushed them down the loo. How dare you, Mum? <laughs> Not turn them into ashtrays, which I always thought no. was the ideal. <laughs> no. They were only little. I'm, I'm sure I'm not misquoting this, but I, I'm pretty sure she did actually. But so I was very sad with, when Terry the terrapin disappeared down the U bed. Was he called Terry? Yeah, he was called Terry. Of course he was. Um, Terry one, two, and three. <laughs> my friend Chris, my friend Chris, he keeps his dead cat in the freezer because he basically he's too lazy to do anything with it, and he just thought that rather than he couldn't flush it down the loo or stick wrong. it in the bin. So how it's, long it's for? The, Can I just? Well, ask? It must be five or six years now. No, I mean how. How, how long before he's institutionalised? <laughs> yeah, uh, he's got a certificate saying he's saying. Um, and are you guys, are you guys animal, uh, animal lovers? No? I am. No? I am. I'm a, yeah? I'm, a, I'm a big animal lover. I mean, I also think there's, you know, it's terribly sad when a pet dies, but bury it and yeah, move on. Absolutely. Making it into a sweater or an ashtray or a it's tennis quite, racket. It's quite weird, isn't it? It's not weird. It's just <laughs> ludicrous. It's absolutely <laughs> insane. I mean, I know we've all got to get over things in our own way, but... Hollywood, yeah. they're obsessed for things like pet oh, funerals, aren't well, they? I mean, big business. <laughs> Absolute <laughs> ludicrous fools, you know. Remember, they and could be watching. And salons and spas. <laughs> yeah. They've got pet spas, haven't they? Oh, yeah, they've got, they've got pet therapists. I actually yeah. know somebody who said, oh, the it's dog's really playing up, I'm going to take him to a therapist. And I was like... I don't think it's the dog that needs therapy. I think <laughs> maybe it's you, you nutter. Uh, OK, uh, let's throw it over to you guys. I'm told we've got some good calls coming. We have, and Angela's just emailed in to say that she's going to make her cats into cushions, which is always nice, isn't it? <laughs> Get help, Angela. <laughs> Get help now. We've got more. We've got more. Let's go to Danny from Leamington Spa on line one. Danny, did you say? Danny, Danny good morning. Hello, my... Hello. <laughs> Hello. What have you done with your pets, then? It's not actually me, it's my mum. Oh, yeah? Um, about seven years ago, my dog Wellington died, and she buried him in our back garden, which is probably quite common. Yeah. But we've since moved twice, and each time she's dug him up <laughs> and taken him with her and reburied him. <laughs> and the funniest thing... <laughs> that <just> <laughs> Her justification for it is that um, she's worried that somebody will dig him up. Can I ask? She's worried that someone will <laughs> dig him up. <laughs> she's dug him up twice and she's worried. Do you see the irony there? Oh, yes. I'm now watch him suck up to her because no, he wants her vote. No. Look, suck up, suck up. And does she live on her own? Um, no, I'm with her, but she oh. won't listen to me. <laughs> but Dan, Danny. The worst thing is she's not recycling because he's actually in the recycle bin. OK. What? The, the dog's in the recycle bin. Yeah. Uh? Um, Danny. Buried in it. Uh, buried in the recycling bin. Yeah. Right. Oh. Nice, nice. <laughs> uh, <woo> right, uh, <laughs> thanks for the call. <laughs> let's get another. And uh, let's go to Sean now from Chesterfield on line two. Shan, yeah, Shan. Shan, good morning. Good morning. Hi there. Lord. What do you do with uh, dead animals then, Shan? Uh, well, actually, I don't do it with the dead animal. Right. I, I do it in preparation for the death. 
uh, people brush groom the dog, cats, rabbits, yeah. whatever, and save the hair and send it to me. Oh. I spin it into yarn and make them a teddy bear. Oh, stop. Which is a, a novelty <laughs> while the pet's alive. But when the pet dies, you have a, a memorial that the pet produced. I don't do sweaters because they wear that would out. Be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> teddy bears can be loved and cuddled, same as the pets were. And 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 I Shan, Shan I mean, country. I, 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 I it, it is it is country. Do, it's, I don't want to be too in quite, you know, pushy, but do you make much money out of out of this business? No, it, it's a paying hobby. A I don't make a lot hobby. of it, a lot of money. I still go out to work, even though I'm over sixty. Okay, <laughs> okay. Right. Have you tried tennis? If I, if I, <laughs> it, I would be inundated. It's just is that right? Female word of mouth. How extraordinary! Thank you for the call. Good luck. <laughs> and one more? It's getting worse. Let's go to Delilah from Nottingham on line three. Delilah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I want to, what do you do with your dead pets? Um, well, my mum planned to have some professional photos done with me and my dog for right. um, Christmas. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and that's yeah. it. <laughs> no, no, no. So they, they want to take some pictures with you and the dog. Right. Um, so we stored it in the outdoor freezer. Oh, uh, the dog, um, the dog died. I had died. some pictures taken with my dead dog a week later. Okay. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but the dog must have been as stiff as a board in the picture. Was it? Dear, dear, dear. She, I think we've got problems with the I problems think with the phone. Frozen. She's listening to the telly. That's what it is. You see, right. it actually. She's like that. Me. And then I froze my dog. It's me! <laughs> <laughs> and then I said, there's me again! But, I mean, I, I know these are, they're really funny, obviously, but the sense of attachment people have to yeah, these animals. Yeah. But this is pathological because they're holding on to bits what does of that those. Mean? Well, you're holding on to bits of the animal, what you like about the animal. Psychopathological. Yeah. No, pa pathological. In that, you're, what you're holding on to is, is all the things, not the right things, the things you liked is the spirit of the animal, what the animal did and what it meant to you, no. not their physical no. fur. I was saying yesterday, and I'm not joking, we used to have Yorkshire Terriers, Bertie and Fonzie, hey. and I used to look at them, and, I, and it, had I had my way, they were great gloves. Whichever way, you would have just reversed them, and the lovely warm fur, and each your Yorkshire Terrier is about one adult male hand, in, you know, hand size. It would have been a no-brainer. I think it's wonderful. These, I think these people are wonderful. I can't bear animals, but it does make this country you know, so wonderfully I, I was eccentric. This up. You know, the, the number one <laughs> thing, they put this around, the number one thing people want in their caskets when they get buried is their mobile phone, is what we heard. Actually, we checked no. it out. The number one thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. The number one thing people want in their caskets, <laughs> if they've had pets that died uh, and were cremated, is the ashes of their pets to be with them. I can understand that. Do you think they're putting the phone in the coffin things just in case you're not really dead? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. No, get me up, get me up. Listen, still alive. Uh, that is uh, your luck for today. May all your pets rest in peace. My thanks to everyone who rang in today. Great calls. Thank you, folks. Uh, and, uh, Sean, I have to say, what a fabulous guest you've thank been. You Marvellous. Nice. Good luck with the first. Jasmine and David, uh, thank you very much for being by my side all this week.